Hello everyone and welcome back to Tactics Ogre Night of Lotus where last time we played we went to surf here I think it was and defeated some dragons and gremlins that were there and today it's a bit of a special episode because you might if you listen very carefully I hope it's gonna be not loud enough for you guys to hear but there's me talking again as well but I have to re-put the the audio because it was a mess it's like it mixed well it put both of them together and as you guys might hear the game audio very loud so I'm gonna have to redo the the audio but I want to show you guys something that I've done which was getting Belmont which was a character that I recruited with my wizard that you see on the left and I kept him because because of his name and Deneb, our fire wizard, which I have trained in the middle of the, no, between episodes, and now she's ready to get a bit of a, an upgrade, I think. And the, the emblem that we got was Wixen's uh, Whisper, I think it was, and the Belmont, and you know what, I kept him simply because of his name, and he has a, uh, a leather whip. Which might give you a, uh, a hint on what reference I'm trying to make. I've never played Castlevania, but you know what? I know that they, a lot of people like those games, so... I haven't made him a Beast Tamer. Because Beast Tamers tend to be... The strongest with a whip. And... Well, it's a Belmont, right? You gotta have a whip with a Belmont. So now we have a Beast Tamer named Belmont with a whip. And I noticed that... I'm going to be changing the equipment as well, I think, very quickly, but... Uh, there's also, as you guys might notice from the, the length of the video, there's a bit of change... Uh, no, not a bit of change, but I made the fights go over a bit quicker. In the beginning I was trying to make like... Oh, for next episode, I'm going to try to make it so that... I'm gonna show you like small tidbits of the fight which I found interesting or at least uh, yeah interesting more like in this fact we also had some which I found really interesting but because everything was messed up in the uh, from the recording I went ahead and uh, we're gonna just beat up the fight like this the fight is going times four which is why the episode's length is 22 minutes which, I gotta say, it's kinda nice having short episodes because that uh, you guys would still see the fight and here we can see the special thing about Deneb. If you make, if you make a, a witch named Deneb, she will become a special witch. However, you can never change her back. Because as you notice, you can't change her back. But it's, it's fine. These are also going to be the only witch that we will keep. I might make like another um, wizard character later on. And we'll make her into the, the siren, I think it was. Which is, I think, the, a bit of a better mage class. Uh, we bought uh, the Mountain Blade for Deneb and. Now we're gonna go into a fight, which is arena. Okay, yeah, the uh, place called arena. In the beginning, I thought it was gonna be an arena. Oh no! Why are there humans in this place? We're looking for the mermaid sanctuary. I need to speak with your leader. Can you help us? Reveal the location of our home. Are you are you crazy? You'll kill every last one of us. W wait, I have no intention of harming any of you. I don't even trust humans. Everyone, lend me a hand. Then the enemies come. And tons of mermaids. Fjord to pie. And some hawkmen. And now the fight begins. And it's a bit laggy for me. I have to see if I can get it to run a bit smoother. I think I know why I'm getting laggy. Mm, let me go ahead and close you off. Let me go ahead and close this off. Ah, much better. Now I'm, now I'm seeing it well. Okay. 
But I've already moved. Oh yeah, I also noticed with the Ed Uruzo. I almost forgot to get the, the treasures. Thankfully, I got uh, with the Uruzo one of the treasures, which was kind of useful. And we're just moving everyone into position. And oh yeah, I wanted to give then a bit of. I'm in the, immediately making new but because all her spells are quite expensive to use. And I also noticed that. Oh, I kind of forgot in the beginning that a mermaid's weapon are tridents. Which makes it a bit more annoying because they can go always from the far. And also the water well, level has risen. I think that was the first time we've seen it in the in this playthrough. And I also noticed that Flor uh, Flores has no spell. So much stuff happened in the beginning, it was not going good. It's like even the middle part, which was really not good. Because I had some points where I was thinking like, hmm, maybe I'm, a, um, my, maybe I'm a little bit too weak at the moment, but... I gotta say, how I handled it was okay. It was not the best thing, but you know what? I find most of it kind of funny because uh, we get a, a, a funny little fight in the, in the beginning area where we st uh, started at with the... Let's get my notice, all my mages are there and at some point the enemies are just thinking like, you know what, there are enemies there they are also quite weak physically let's go ahead and attack them and then <laughs> I had to, uh, oh, I had quite the, I had to juggle a bit with the HP of everyone, which was kind of funny. Oh yeah, and Minoa has a water ring, which is a good ring, because it gives you spell defense, it gives you, I think, some stats, I think it was ag agility. And, oh yes, Molten Blade, the first time we used it, and eh, it doesn't be that strong, it's because... Um, mermaids and octopi both get uh, a boost when they're inside water which is not good because half this map is water so if I want to not have any trouble <laughs> I can't do that and so uh... oh yes and I think I even used my orb in some point because I was really struggling and I was like you know what why not use it it was much weaker than I remembered it being. Maybe it takes into account your intelligence when you attack. Hmm, I'll have to read up on that. Maybe they have some information on only or not. Wait, that Hogman. That Hogman got so much shield. It's impressive. And there was even a point where um He went out, healed himself, another member came, healed him. And the lullabies. Didn't work that time, but it will work sometimes. Which did not go well. And as my mages are cuddling together, <laughs> you will notice that I should uh, or I put Deneb somewhere where I should not have put her. And also having his little fight. Flores without magic just poking and eh. you know what? I'm gonna let oh I've already said all that I wanted about the fight. It went well, so we're gonna win. A little spoiler. But the way I went to getting the win, I went kind kind of alright. And also my struggle with my mages. I found that part really amusing. I was gonna put like Cut up the, every time that the mages got attacked into one little bit, and then you guys would have seen how that would have turned out instead of it being like, not these guys, not those guys. And I think I might do that in the the next time I ever, uh, well, if I ever have uh, a case like this, where mm, <clears throat> like some of my characters have like a fight over here and a fight over there, and then they join up again. Not as in a huge big fight uh, separated, but like in this one, 
a little camp of enemies attack these guys, a little camp of enemies attack those guys. Because as you guys might see, two octopus, oh, two octopi, a mermaid, and three physically weak characters. It did not, it did not go well for my uh, my hand. And we see even the orb. And as we notice, the damage it does mm, not impressive. Maybe I should have used uh, let Eruza use the the spell or the the orb. And I also need to keep everyone a bit apart. What did I attack again? Oh, I heal myself. But I was kind of lucky there as well with the my mages. But as I said, I'm gonna let you guys see the fight now.
And here I am back. Okay, let's see then. Mm, oh yes, I remember. Minerva being the tank that she is. <laughs> Just trying to like punch everyone with her. I, I even considered like using Aruzo to use like Crack Crush. But I was struggling like, hmm, what if she... Oh, yeah, what if she... Hmm... Attack someone that's now weakened because of crack rush. That would not have gone well. And there you go. We finished them off. We didn't get any good items, so to say. Only except maybe the, the ice shield and the the water ring. And yes, we did get. Oh wait. Calm down. I don't want to hurt you. Ah. Help me, sister! And she jumps into the water. And away she goes. But I think that's fine. It went kind of alright for us though in the end. And with that, we've done it. And now... Oh yeah. I think... What, what did I... What was I trying to do? I do not remember. I would... Uh, then it was kind of cool though to use. Uh, temptations were like very low chance of hitting, even though they were like 70% chance of hitting. I do it, missed. 69% uh, chance of hitting. I do it, missed. 90% <laughs> chance of hitting. I do it, it hits and like... We're not playing XCOM, man. These 70% chance should be hitting most of the time. Not hit them missing twice. I mean, I, I was, I think I was talking about that. Alo still has to get five kills with the, with the. Uh, what is it called? Against dragons, or oh, five kills of dragons, I think. And here we have the ice shield, which is kind of alright. We don't have a, a, a fire or ice character, so to say. Only Kimble for now. But I think I changed a bit of his equipment around, like I gave him a, a hard ladder. Uh, I did not give him the, the water ring, but I gave him I think a mallet and the ice shield in the end. Because I don't have anyone who's really gonna use it. Weirdly enough the music stopped for me. Uh, and... Oh, really? Where did it stop? Now it's back. That's weird. And I think I even... Oh, or maybe I went with the shop though. Who could have used the... The ice shield? Tammy is getting a lot of intelligence though, but she's almost there to get the 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 priest class, which is gonna be nice. I don't think she's killed anyone yet, which should be good. Well, how would even? She is quite weak, literally. But I don't remember whom I've given the ice shield to. Oh yeah, we gotta switch them back in order. But. I don't really have anyone who would use it the best, but you know what? I might even give it to one of the characters that I have that uh, will be able to carry those. But Belmont can't. <laughs> the leather whips for some reason are two-handed weapons. But Alos also has a two-handed spear. Flores and everyone else is Earth or Wind. But I might give it to Alphonse now I think about it. We'll see about it really. Ah, oh, no, he has a two handed katana, not a thing about it. I also give him Shane Shirt, a uh, Shane Mail rather. Which I think should be better, because it's just a straight uh, upgrade with 4 0.1 movement. 
So, given Floris, I should buy her a Acid Vapor though. That should be okay, and I'm... Um... Hmm... I'm wondering what kind of uh, auto wizard that should be making. But anyway, that was it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Do tell me if you guys like the, the speed up version of the fights or if you guys want me to cut them into segments. Like I've said I would was going to try to do. But we'll see the next episode if that one will go well. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and as always, I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye.